Hey everyone, welcome to another video. My name is Lester and sa video to pag-usapan natin yung mga importanteng elements ng isang website. So if you're interested, please keep on watching. So if you're new to this channel, I'm Lester. I'm a digital marketer and sa channel nito we talk about digital marketing, entrepreneurship, and career development. So if you're interested with those kinds of topics, please consider subscribing and hit that notification bell para updated ka sa mga future videos. Right now, the most viewed videos channel nito is yung aking cost ng website in the Philippines. I realize a lot of people wanted more information about websites in general. Ang perspective ko is more on the marketing side of it. Of course, you can talk about the technical side of it, the content side of it, and yung magiging point of view natin. Of course, ginagamit natin yung website to attract prospects, generate leads, uh, win new business. I think we need to pay close attention dito sa mga elements na to na ilalagay natin sa website. Whether you're the actual web designer or you're an entrepreneur or business owner or business decision maker na may website projects then you have to have a closer look with all these elements. Okay? So let's get started. First thing I always look at is yung layout. In this day and age, the cleaner the better. My general perspective is a clean design is a good design. Ayaw mo i-distract yung visitors natin sa sobrang daming elements. The goal is not to have too many confusing colors, mixed messages, overwhelming visuals, complicated menu structures, and kung anong pop-ups that will get people's attention. Instead, make your call to action stand out and make sure that that would be the main focus of the page if you wanted to get conversion. Number two elements aside from uh, clean design is yung ating branded elements. So, ano yung sabihin nito? Yung mga color scheme natin, yung font natin, yung mga images na ginagamit natin should all reflect kung yung brand natin. But before you even go to this part, you should make sure you have like some sort of a brand guide. So, if you want further discussion about brand guide, let me know in the comment section below. Gawa natin siya ng uh, full video para you can get a better understanding what what do I mean by brand guide. But essentially, this is from the word itself, ito yung susundan natin na design elements para we can reach that consistency and yung likelihood na people would recognize your website connected to your brand. Included din yan yung ating uh, core messaging and yung ating mga value proposition. So, if bago lahat itong mga terms na ito sa inyo, let me know in the comment section, ask the question, and we'll try and answer them for you. Number three element is yung ating mobile responsiveness. Since yung website natin will be accessed in many different types of device, like yung tablet natin, yung mobile phone, sa PC, sa laptop, shapes and sizes ng mga screen, and your website should be able to adapt to that. You want to make sure your site looks good on every device. People will stay on your site longer and potentially do business with you. Number four element is yung proper navigation or some people say intuitive navigation. What we mean by navigation is yung how people go around your, your website, diba? Because it would have different sections and pages, diba? So you have your home, about us, contact page, about your services or your products, if you have forums, you have blogs. So there's a lot of pages and make sure people can easily find that either on your top menu or some people put it on the side menu, some people put it on the footer. What's important is simply lang siya and people can easily go around your website and not get frustrated because some people tend to overdo the, the layout and the navigation that they want to make it seem creative but what it does is just confuses people so might as well stick to the basics and make sure people can easily navigate your website. Number five element is yung mga forms natin. Forms are the number one lead capture mechanism ng ating mga website. You can put in their name, phone numbers, email of course, and then if you want them to put in messages. Some websites, a lot of websites I've seen, they collect way too many information right on the get-go. Most people are not comfortable putting in way too many information about them when they first met you. So, kahit pa gano'ng kaganda yung design ng forms mo, kahit pa gano'ng siya kaganda yung mga functions niya, so kung hindi naman siya i-fill out ng ating mga visitors, then sayang lang siya, diba? So, we'll do a deep dive on this topic as well. This is one of the more important digital marketing topic. Yung mga nag-visit ang website mo, this is where you convert them into a known entity once you have their contact information using forms. A lot of different types of forms and you wanna make sure it's well designed para can maximize its value. So, for now, just remember, if you make it easy to use, that's what we're aiming for when we use forms on our website. Next element is security. We want to make sure na hindi ganun kadali mapasok yung mga website natin kasi we know hackers exist. One of the basic security measures is yung pagkakaroon ng HTTPS 
ano ng ating website ng encryption na yan. I mean, you can buy that from our hosting provider. I'm not saying na was you put HTTPS as totally secure ng website, no matter how big or extreme yung security measures, if people wanted to get into your website, there's always a way. But what we're saying is, the more security measures you put in as well, then that makes it harder for people to to get your information. Because most websites put in a lot of information on the back end on your database, so you know just put in some effort to to make it secure next element would be more relevant to shops websites na may online store we want to make sure na madali lang i-manage yung mga products natin sa website the best solution for this is using ready-made e-commerce platforms such as WooCommerce, Shopify, Magento we want to make sure na hindi hard-coded yung pag input ng mga products natin. What I mean by hard code is as much possible and we want to make sure na yung ating mga back end ng website can be managed kahit na you don't know coding at all. What matters is you can sell, not really code. Let's leave that to the the programmers. Make sure kapag kailangan mong update yung mga prices mo, yung mga product description, you need to delete items, eh, you can do that easily by yourself without the help of a technical person. Number eight element would be yung ating contact us page. This is similar to the forms, pero forms is a little bit more dynamic kasi you'll use that for if you have an event or you want people to sign up to a certain promo. All of these can be done on a contact us page. Pero in most websites, this is the generic form that you can put on your site. But you can also include yung other contact information more, like your phone numbers, email, uh, your address, if you have multiple locations. So maximize your contacts page. It's almost a default na website should have this. And if you can you know, get the standard way of designing it and putting the right information, then you'll be able to maximize it. Last but not the least, probably the most important is yung content ng website natin. That's where you really have to put a lot of your effort building a website natin. The technical structure is important, the other elements, the design, but at the end of the day, what's written on that website is what people are looking for. A general mindset that I always put whenever I, I work with people writing content and building a website is put yourself in the customer's shoe. A lot of times, mga companies, if they're building a website, they're kind of doing it for themselves. It's about us, about us, about us. What we should be thinking kapag nag nagagawa tayo ng content in website and in marketing in general is ano ba yung mga information na hinahanap ng ating mga potential customers and you give them reason to go to your website if it's about you as a business i'm i'm good at this i received this award i'm the best at this i don't think that's really what they're looking for what they're looking for is what sort of value you can provide them instead of focusing on features focus on customer benefits. Just keep that in mind and you'll be on the right track in building your your website. So I guess that's it. I hope this helps. So what we're after on this channel is you know to give bits and pieces of information that can help you build that online marketing presence. If you need more help, you can check my socials down below. Let's have a conversation. I'm always open for that. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.